Hello everybody, and um, welcome to a new little tutorial. I'm back on my MacBook today, and um, if you're like me, you like using your old MacBook, because it's cheaper to own, and you like using it for entertainment purposes, so YouTube, music, you get it, you know. We, when over last time we spoke about uh, getting Minecraft to run on an old MacBook, well, <clears throat> today I'm going to teach you something else, something nice and simple. Now, um, one thing that uh, I noticed about my Mac was that it was never very good at doing some modern things. So, for example, if we go to Netflix, Netflix is always a fun thing to watch. Go away, I don't care about that. I don't forget my password to Netflix. Alright, so... We're on Netflix. Let's pick something random. Um, Netflix, the scrolling through Netflix is always very slow, isn't it? Especially on older machines. Here, a bit of a Top Gear. We're not actually going to watch it, don't worry. No copyright. It, my mouse isn't over that. Behave yourself, Netflix. Okay. <laughs> Gotta love old Netflix. And you might get something like this. Missing component. Now, it tells you to go to chrome colon forward slash forward slash components and activate this one or update this one. That doesn't work. I've tried it. On OS 10.6.8, it does not work. <clears throat> Too old to run it. So, what's our alternative fix? Now, because a lot of people most likely just use Google Chrome, like me, because it's a slightly more stable browser, then um, you know that that doesn't work very well for Netflix. But what you may not have known is that good old Safari, your old friend that comes pre-installed with your Mac, actually can um, handle uh, Netflix. Sorry, my brain stopped working for a second there. How do you get it to work? Well, that's quite simple. All you have to do is Google Silverlight. Now, Silverlight is actually a Microsoft thing. <clears throat> and Windows machines use it to view Netflix and a couple other things, I think. I'm not sure entirely what else it's used for because I've never really had any need for it. But let's click on the web page anyway. Now uh, you'll see Get Silverlight 5 or whatever version is available at this time for you. You click that link and tell that web page to go away because it's loading unnecessarily. Obviously you got two installs, Windows and Macintosh. This is an actual install, so we'll click that. I've already got it, but we're going to download it anyway. And Open it through here. There we go. So it's going to mount the disk image, there it is and then you just double click it and you can run through the installation continue blah 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 scroll all the way down to the bottom and read all of that if you really want to continue I agree now uh, I already have Silverlight installed so you already have it uh, your computer da, 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 installing Silverlight yes so you just click continue this will take up this much space I already have it, but I'm just going to reinstall it again. I have to put in your password. Give it a minute to do its thing. And boom. Silverlight is installed. Now you can uh, eject that. And then go back onto Safari. Make our way back to Netflix. enjoy that incredibly slow loading time and then we'll pick one of the Netflix originals I think I haven't actually watched any Riverdale so there'll be no spoilers here but as you can see it is loading now Anyway, it's not just not to get any copyright problems here because I'm not sponsored by Netflix at all. Anyway, 
that is a very quick and simple guide on how to get Netflix working on an older MacBook so you can go back to enjoying your, your um, entertainment experience on your outdated but still usable machine. Uh, thank you for watching and as I figure out more little things and little things you can do to make older MacBooks work or Mac computers work I will upload them. Thank you for watching please comment rate and subscribe if you're new to my channel blah blah blah, blah. <laughs> anyway thanks a lot guys and I'll see you all in my next video